In recent years, South Korea has experienced a remarkable spiritual shift, with millions being drawn to the Catholic faith. This surge in conversions is not the result of one simple cause, but rather a convergence of diverse forces. The Catholic Church's active role in addressing social justice issues resonates deeply, while individuals increasingly seek spiritual fulfillment in a fast-paced modern world. The country, once steeped in centuries of Confucian and Buddhist traditions, is now witnessing a profound transformation. Catholicism, with its enduring rituals and universal message, has become a beacon for many, symbolizing hope, renewal, and moral guidance in a society searching for balance. The rise of Catholicism in South Korea marks a significant cultural and spiritual crossroads, blending the old with the new, the traditional with the modern, in ways that are reshaping the nation's religious landscape. So, what is it about Catholicism that's captivating millions in South Korea today? Stick around, and let's explore why this spiritual movement is making waves and changing lives. Thank you all for being here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Historical Context of Catholicism in Korea Catholicism's journey in Korea is both brief and profoundly impactful, tracing its origins back to the late 18th century. The arrival of the first Catholic missionaries in the 1780s marked the beginning of a new spiritual chapter for the Korean people. The faith gained traction largely through the dedication of Korean converts who had immersed themselves in Catholic teachings while in China. By the early 19th century, the first Korean martyrs began to emerge, courageously enduring persecution for their beliefs. This period of suffering only served to deepen the faith's roots within the community. As the 19th century progressed, Catholicism solidified its presence, culminating in the establishment of the Korean Catholic Church. A pivotal moment came in 1962 when Pope John XXIII designated Seoul as an archdiocese, signaling the growing significance of the church within the region. The late 20th century proved to be transformative for Catholicism in South Korea, particularly during the struggle for democracy in the 1980s. During this turbulent era, the Catholic Church emerged as a powerful advocate for human rights and social justice, earning deep respect and credibility among the South Korean populace. The Archika Catholicism According to the published data of the Statistics of the Catholic Church in Korea 2023, as of December 31, 2023, only the number of baptized Catholics in the Catholic Church in Korea is 5,970,675, accounting for 11.3% of the national population. Of course, the number of uncounted Catholics will be much higher than the statistics we know. Despite this long-term increase, the growth rate has slowed in recent years, exacerbated by the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic when church attendance dropped. However, a recent report highlighted a 24% rise in baptisms in 2023, totaling 51,307 new Catholics. The breakdown of these baptisms included a significant number of adult baptisms, which suggests the appeal of the faith among diverse age groups. The appeal of Catholicism in South Korea can be attributed to various factors, including its focus on inclusivity and its alignment with the values of a rapidly globalizing society. Catholicism has gained prominence compared to other Christian denominations, such as Protestantism, which has experienced either slower growth or stagnation. The reasons behind this rapid growth are multifaceted. For many modern South Koreans, the Catholic Church's emphasis on inclusivity stands out in a society that is rapidly globalizing and becoming more diverse. Number 1. The Role of Social Engagement A pivotal factor driving the rise in conversion rates is the Catholic Church's active engagement with social justice issues. The South Korean Catholic Church has played an integral role in advocating for democracy, human rights, and labor reforms, emerging as a moral compass in times of societal turmoil. During South Korea's transition to democracy in the 1980s, Catholic leaders positioned themselves at the forefront of the movement, 
offering both moral guidance and practical support to activists who were bravely challenging the authoritarian regime. This historical involvement not only galvanized public support for democratic ideals, but also fostered considerable credibility and respect for the church among the South Korean populace. In recent years, the church has intensified its outreach efforts to uplift marginalized communities, such as the impoverished, the elderly, and immigrants. By establishing various programs and initiatives aimed at providing aid and support to these groups, the Catholic Church has become synonymous with compassion and social responsibility. Its initiatives include food banks, shelter programs, and healthcare services that directly address the needs of the vulnerable, showcasing a commitment to fostering a more equitable society. Moreover, the Church's dedication to social issues extends beyond mere charity. It actively advocates for systemic change. Catholic leaders and congregants alike participate in dialogues and protests aimed at reforming unjust policies, emphasizing the Church's role as a voice for the voiceless. This proactive stance has resonated with many South Koreans who are increasingly seeking a faith that aligns with their values of justice and equity. Many individuals now perceive the Catholic Church not merely as a spiritual entity, but as a powerful agent for positive social change. This strong connection to pressing social issues has attracted those seeking both spiritual fulfillment and transformative societal impact. As the Church continues to champion the rights of the marginalized and promote social justice, it reinforces its position as a dynamic force in South Korean society, drawing in a diverse range of converts who view faith as an integral part of their commitment to social transformation. Number 2. The Appeal of Catholic Spirituality and Rituals a pivotal catalyst for the growing number of Catholic converts in South Korea is the profound allure of Catholic spirituality and its rich tapestry of rituals, which impart a comforting sense of structure and stability. The Catholic Church's dedication to sacred practices such as Mass, Confession, and the Sacraments provides a clear and meaningful pathway for spiritual development. For many South Koreans navigating the rapid transformations of modern society, these rituals offer a source of solace and a reliable framework in which to explore their spiritual journey. The significance of Mass, in particular, cannot be overstated. It serves not only as a communal gathering for worship, but also as a weekly opportunity for reflection, gratitude, and renewal of faith. Confession, with its emphasis on forgiveness and redemption, allows individuals to confront personal struggles and find peace, aligning with the deeply rooted Korean values of restoration and reconciliation. The sacraments, seen as vital channels of divine grace, further deepen the spiritual experience, creating a profound connection to the sacred that resonates with those in search of deeper meaning. Additionally, the Church's moral teachings on family values, human dignity, and charitable acts harmonize seamlessly with traditional Korean principles rooted in Confucianism. The focus on respect for family, compassion for others, and a commitment to community welfare not only makes the teachings relatable, but also facilitates a smoother transition for many new believers. This synergy between Catholic doctrine and established cultural values fosters a sense of belonging, reinforcing the idea that one can be both a devoted Catholic and a proud Korean. In addition to these spiritual and moral appeals, the global footprint of the Catholic Church plays a significant role in attracting converts. Being part of a worldwide community fosters a strong sense of belonging and unity. The Church's outreach efforts, international missionary activities, and global events, such as World Youth Day, create opportunities for South Koreans to engage with a larger network of believers. This exposure to diverse cultures and shared faith experiences enhances their understanding of Catholicism as a universal faith that transcends geographical and cultural boundaries. Moreover, the consistent doctrines and practices of Catholicism across different cultures offer a reassuring connection in an increasingly individualistic and fragmented world. For many individuals feeling isolated in modern life, the Church provides a supportive community where they can forge meaningful relationships and find encouragement. 
The shared rituals and communal activities foster a strong sense of camaraderie, transforming the experience of worship into a collective journey of faith that nurtures both individual growth and community bonds. The appeal of Catholic spirituality and rituals lies not only in their inherent beauty and significance, but also in their ability to address the contemporary spiritual needs of South Koreans. As individuals grapple with existential questions and seek deeper connections in a fast-paced, ever-changing environment, the Catholic Church stands out as a beacon of hope and stability, guiding them toward a richer, more fulfilling spiritual life. Number three, the impact of Catholic education and charitable institutions. Catholic educational institutions and charitable organizations have profoundly shaped the growth of the Catholic faith in South Korea. Throughout the nation, numerous esteemed schools, universities, and hospitals are operated by Catholic entities, providing not only high-quality education, but also comprehensive health care services. These institutions are rooted in ethical principles and a commitment to compassionate care, leaving a lasting impression on those they serve. This environment fosters a sense of community and belonging, often encouraging individuals to explore and embrace the teachings of Catholicism. Catholic schools in particular have become nurturing environments for young minds. Within their walls, students receive a rigorous academic education, complemented by lessons in moral values and spiritual development. The integration of faith into everyday learning creates a holistic educational experience that emphasizes not just intellectual growth, but also character building. Students engage in various extracurricular activities that reflect Catholic teachings, such as community service, social justice initiatives, and outreach programs. This involvement not only enhances their educational journey, but also deepens their understanding of the Church's mission to serve others. As these students mature, many find themselves drawn to the Catholic faith, influenced by the teachings they have internalized throughout their schooling. This transition is often supported by the strong sense of community fostered within Catholic institutions, where friendships and connections with faculty members reinforce a shared commitment to the faith. Additionally, the positive experiences within these institutions often lead families to become more involved in the Church, further strengthening the Catholic community. Beyond education, Catholic charitable organizations play a vital role in the faith's expansion by addressing the pressing social needs of society. Through various outreach programs, these organizations provide vital support to marginalized groups, including the poor, the elderly, and immigrants. Their commitment to social justice and community welfare aligns closely with the teachings of Catholicism, resonating deeply with individuals who value faith in action. The combined efforts of Catholic educational institutions and charitable organizations create a powerful network of support and influence contributing to a vibrant Catholic community in South Korea. As individuals experience the transformative power of education and service, many choose to embrace the faith, fostering a dynamic and growing Catholic population that is actively engaged in both spiritual and social dimensions of life. Number 4. The Role of Pope Francis Pope Francis has emerged as a transformative figure in the remarkable increase of conversions to Catholicism in South Korea. His papacy is characterized by a profound commitment to humility, inclusivity, and advocacy for marginalized communities, elements that have deeply resonated with the South Korean populace. His approach to leadership emphasizes compassion and understanding, breaking away from traditional expectations of the papacy and making him a relatable figure for many. His highly publicized visit to South Korea in 2014 was met with immense enthusiasm, drawing hundreds of thousands of attendees eager to witness a leader who embodies the principles of mercy and service. This visit was not just a mere appearance, it was a heartfelt engagement with the people. Pope Francis held multiple events, including a youth rally and a peace conference, where he shared his vision of a church that reaches out to the marginalized and advocates for social justice. A highlight of his visit was the beatification of 124 Korean martyrs, a significant event that spotlighted the rich historical tapestry of Catholicism in Korea. 
By honoring these martyrs, Pope Francis acknowledged the sacrifices made by early believers who endured persecution for their faith. This act not only commemorated their courage, but also instilled a renewed sense of pride among South Korean Catholics, reinforcing the notion that their faith is part of a larger, historical narrative. Pope Francis's emphasis on social issues such as poverty, inequality, and environmental stewardship aligns closely with the concerns of many South Koreans today. His messages resonate with those who seek a church that is not only spiritual, but also actively engaged in addressing societal challenges. This focus on social responsibility has inspired many individuals to explore Catholicism as a means of contributing to a more just and equitable society. Pope Francis's ability to connect on a personal level with individuals from diverse backgrounds further enhances his impact. His warmth and approachability invite people to see the church as a welcoming community rather than an institution bound by rigid traditions. His call for dialogue, understanding, and reconciliation speaks to the heart of many South Koreans who value harmony and collective well-being. The ongoing growth of the Catholic Church in South Korea is undeniably linked to the inspiring leadership of Pope Francis. His messages continue to encourage individuals to embrace Catholicism as a source of hope, identity, and community. As he advocates for a church that prioritizes love, compassion, and service to others, he invites countless South Koreans to partake in a faith that aligns with their aspirations for personal and societal transformation. Number 5. The Role of Media and Technology One of the more recent factors contributing to the growth of Catholicism in South Korea is the role of media and technology. With the rise of digital platforms, Catholic content is now more accessible than ever, allowing individuals to explore the faith through online sermons, podcasts, YouTube channels, and social media. Many South Korean Catholic communities have embraced technology to spread their message, offering virtual masses, Bible studies, and other religious content that appeals to a tech-savvy population. This approach has particularly resonated with younger generations who may not attend traditional church services but are still seeking spiritual guidance. The church's presence on these platforms has made it easier for people to engage with Catholic teachings at their own pace, creating new opportunities for conversions. Moreover, the church's use of digital media has strengthened the sense of community among believers, connecting people across geographical boundaries and making Catholicism more relatable and accessible in the modern world. Contemporary Challenges Facing Catholicism in South Korea Despite the remarkable growth of Catholicism, the Church confronts several pressing challenges in the modern era. One significant concern is the decline in attendance among younger generations. An increasing number of young South Koreans are leaning towards secularism, showing a diminished interest in traditional religious practices. This shift presents a formidable challenge for the Church, which must adapt its messaging and outreach efforts to connect with a demographic that prioritizes personal spirituality over institutional affiliation. The Catholic Church in South Korea must navigate a complex social landscape characterized by rapid modernization and shifting cultural norms. Topics such as gender equality, LGBTQ plus rights, and the role of women within the church have sparked important debates that require thoughtful and sensitive engagement. As society progresses, the church faces the task of addressing these contentious issues while striving to maintain the support of its traditional base. The growing prominence of Protestant denominations poses another challenge. Although Catholicism is experiencing growth, it finds itself in competition with a vibrant Protestant community that boasts a strong presence and considerable influence throughout the country. To remain relevant, the Catholic Church must distinguish itself by offering unique contributions to the spiritual landscape, highlighting its values and traditions in a way that resonates with both current and prospective followers. The growing number of Catholics in South Korea is a testament to the Church's ability to adapt and remain relevant in a rapidly changing society. With its emphasis on social justice, strong spiritual traditions, and a global sense of community, Catholicism offers South Koreans both a sense of purpose and a path for personal and societal transformation. However, 
To maintain and enhance its growth, the church must confront contemporary challenges head-on. As South Korea continues to modernize, the Catholic Church's role as a moral and ethical guide appears to be solidifying, attracting millions to its fold. This trend of conversion is not merely a fleeting phenomenon, but rather a reflection of the profound spiritual and societal needs that Catholicism meets in the lives of many South Koreans today. The blend of historical significance, social engagement, and spiritual fulfillment positions. Catholicism is a compelling choice for millions seeking meaning in their lives, while the challenges ahead will require thoughtful strategies and open dialogue to sustain this momentum. Thank you all for being here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos.